Welcome back to my channel, Bellas. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'm going to get straight into it. By the title, you can tell that this video is about daddy issues. Now, I obviously had some daddy issues, and I'm going to tell you, I thought it was a cliche when people said that how you allow yourself to be treated by men or different things is, it all reverts back to daddy issues. I was one of those people, I was like, my dad don't have nothing to do with that. I love my dad. I forgive him for everything he did. That's not true. Whatever, whatever. So it was not until I was, um, I was about 24, 25 years old. And this guy, this is how I came to the realization, this guy that, um, that I was talking to at the time, he said to me, um, I got, I got upset with him over something. I really don't remember what it was. And I told him that I was not talking to him. Um, I'll set up the story for you. So I was upset about whatever I don't remember. And he was coming out of his door and I was walking past and he was like, so you're just going to ignore me. And I was like, what you want? And he was like, um, so you're just going to ignore me or whatever. And I was like, yeah, pretty much. So he was like, well, why? What did I do to you? And in that moment, I did not have a reason. I had no idea why I did what I did. And he was like, well, if you tell me why you don't want to talk to me, then I'll stop talking to you. And I was just like, what? So, <laughs> so anyway, it caused me to sit down and to think. And what it was, was I had become afraid and accustomed to thinking that every time that there was an issue that I had to run away from it because if I did not run away from it, then I was going to be hurt. I was going to be the one left hurt. So I figured I'm going to get you before you can get me. That was my, that was my whole thinking process with guys. And I, it just made me start looking back to previous relationships. And I was just like, you really did do that. Like you didn't give any, you never gave any argument a try because you, I mean, not even a try. You never sat down and tried to think things through, talk things through because your mind told you be that because your dad walked out, this guy's going to leave too. So beat him to the punch. Okay. So I realized that that was something that I was doing that I, because my dad left, I thought that every guy was going to leave. So I was always trying to beat them to the punch. And it was just, a, it didn't even matter what it was. I did not have problem solving skills. I did not understand how to solve problems, how to work things through, how to talk things through. Because I just, all I had was that little girl in me that was so afraid that somebody was going to leave me. And then I had the contra before I started that tactic of, oh, you, I'm going to leave you before you leave me. My tactic before that was try everything to keep them. Do, do go crazy. Do, do the most unbelievable things and, and, and diminish yourself and, you know, do all kinds of things because you got to keep them. You got to hold on to them. So that was more so in my teenage, um, teenage years when I got into my first little serious relationship I just thought that I just had to do whatever it took to keep him and then as I got older I was just once I left that relationship I was like you know what I'm not gonna let nobody have me out here acting crazy looking crazy doing all these things so I'm just like I'm gonna get him before he get me so I really appreciate that conversation and that guy that I'm talking about, he was the first person who actually taught me how to talk through talk through a problem. Like you just cannot get upset. You cannot block you. You cannot block somebody's number. You cannot just go changing your number and walking past people like you don't see them, like you don't know them. Like he just really taught me a, a more mature way. He started my mind on how to start problem solving. It was it was the I don't know, it, it just catapulted me into understanding that I did have issues that did stem from my father that I didn't think that I had because I was a daddy's girl. I grew up a daddy's girl. My parents were married until I think they got divorced when I was five years old. I was a daddy's girl. I was that girl who when my daddy walked in the door, I was up, I was around his leg. Daddy, 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 daddy could not do no wrong. I love my dad. You could not say nothing to me about my dad. I thought the absolute world about him. 
And that goes to say, I would always hear people say, your dad treat your dad teaches you how you should be treated. And it is true. I thought the absolute world about him. And you know, as you get older, you find out things about um, your parents. And um, my, my, I was not brought up in a household where my dad was trashed. I was not, my, I was not told, your daddy ain't nothing. Your daddy don't want you. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. Da, 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 da. I was never, that was not a part of my household. That was not a part of my, my growing up. I was allowed the chance and I'm so grateful that I was allowed the chance to grow up and learn about my dad on my own at different times. And every piece of information that I got came at the correct time. I was able to absorb it. I was able to understand it and comprehending and this is not a daddy bashing video because my dad has definitely come through for me plenty of times and we do have a relationship and i just had to understand that people only can do what they can do is is my expectations of you is not always what you can what you can give me just because i expect it doesn't mean that you have that in you to give me so um like, I can remember my dad, he did do some really, we had some really good talks, some really good conversations. I remember I was um, 18 years old and I got my little heart broken. I was so heartbroken and I, I was like, oh, I just don't even know what to do. And I remember I was sitting in the garage and I called him one day and me and him had a very good heart to heart talk that I will not f ever forget. And I will one day pass on to my own children. Um, or even anybody that tell, my dad just said to me, he said, you know, you, you know who you are and you can't, you cannot come down to somebody else's level and you, you cannot make a man want you. You cannot do that. That you, If somebody doesn't want you, they don't want you. He said one thing about a man. If a man wants you, you will know it. You won't have to guess about it. You won't have to think about it. You won't have to call him. He'll be calling you. You won't have to be making plans. He'll be making plans. Men don't work like that when they want you. And he, it was a lot said in that conversation. And he just opened my eyes up to a lot of things that I was able, that helped me out to, to this day, and, and, and when my girlfriends call me, I'm like quoting him and saying some things that he said about, you know, that he said. And um, my uh, what else do I want to say? I think, and one thing that I think is crucial about when, when you decide that you want to have a conversation with your dad um, about daddy issues, I think that it's, it's important for you to understand that sometimes you're not gonna get, don't, you don't wanna go into the conversation with expectations. And what I mean by that is you don't want to have already thought, sometimes as women, we just play out scenarios in our heads. I don't know why sometimes it happens. You may have played out a scenario of, oh, I'm gonna tell my dad this, that, and the third, and he's gonna give me this answer, and then we're gonna hug it out and it's gonna be beautiful. Maybe that's one conversation of a million to get to, you know, with that that initial place where you want to get to him, get with him. And, and maybe you need to bring in professional. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you don't have the same faith. And, 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 and that probably was a good thing because my dad does believe the same faith that I believed. So we were able to connect in conversations through that. But um, people can only, they, they can only be who they are like they don't have anything else in them that's sometimes that's just the best they know how that's all they know and that's that's really all they have those are the only tools resources that they have and i think it's it's is very crucial to understand that there are three sides to every story there's your side their side and then there's the truth and what that means is i have my side of what i felt what i was thinking what i was feeling when when all those daddy issues occurred and then he has his side of what he feels like he was doing what he felt like was taken away from him and all these kinds of things and then you have the actual truth which is not either of our feelings it's just a real experience so it's three sides to every story that's what people mean by that and um so every conversation was not was not um peaches and cream and 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 even if even if I did not get what I felt like, I sh if our conversation didn't steer the way that I felt like it should go, I at least got it off of my chest. And I think another crucial thing um, that hit me in the chest one time was, it's hard to talk to someone who does not think that they have done anything wrong. And you have to be okay with it. 
you you really do <laughs> it's, it's hard to talk to somebody that's thinking they did anything wrong because okay when i say that I'm, I'm trying to get my thoughts together it's hard to talk to somebody who doesn't think they're wrong um <sighs> I forgot my train of thought, but you know, it, it's, if you feel like you need, I'm going to start a daddy issue series. And I mean, I've been that girl who's been sitting by the window, hoping my daddy will come. I used, I remember when I was in elementary school, I would sit at the table and I would always just imagine him just coming to surprise me at school with lunch mcdonald's like i would see kids um their parents would come and spend i don't know something about when the dads came it just really like grabbed at me and i was just i would just sit there and think like oh one day he's gonna come in here with that mcdonald's and he's gonna sit down and he's gonna eat with me it never happened um i remember sitting at the window i would just i would just play all these little scenarios in my mind of what I what I wanted and and he was gonna come through this and he was gonna come through that and Christmas is I was like oh, he gonna knock on that door I would be praying I'd be like yeah he gonna come knock on that door this Christmas and it's gonna be good and it never happened but I tell you one thing I'm a stronger woman I'm a stronger person because of it I have no ill ill feelings of toward my father I love him he has taught me so many things and I'm appreciative of it appreciative appreciative of it and i'm going to start a daddy issues um series sharing my thoughts and and um i will probably add some other ladies to this because i have a lot of friends unfortunately who have grew up with the same issues some uh, some people have had you know dads have had drug issues and all kinds of other things and if they're open to coming on here and talking about it i will definitely add that segment um in the near future because that is something that has really been placed on my heart and i just want to say to all the black fathers you are essential you are necessary you are needed your little girls and your little boys need you more than ever if you can if you are man enough to have a baby please take care of that baby and i'm not just talking about financially emotionally physically i mean you'd have no idea how much it impacts a female a young lady to for her father to pick her up for her father to tell her she's beautiful for her father to take her places there are some things that uh, even a woman cannot teach a little girl it's things that the father has to put into his daughter's mind he has to program her mind to know that she is enough that she doesn't need anybody out here trying to tell her you introduce her to god first and you be that father that she needs and i mean it, it's, it's really essential and it's really important i really hope you guys got something out of this video i hope you appreciate it um and like i said there'll be more it's going to be a series called daddy issues and i'm more than happy to talk about it um i'm not ashamed and stay tuned i love you bells <laughs>